Hi everyone and welcome to another video. It has been a while since I came on last to show you my January flip through, which I'm pretty sure I did in February. It is now the 3rd of April, I think, and a lot has happened. Um, we've had some severe weather where I live. I went away. We've had some big delays and shipments at work. My boys and I got COVID. My hubby is still away. We've had family from overseas and interstate that we literally have not seen for the last two years. And um, on top of all of that, my anxiety has been really bad and I've had some days. So what I thought I would do today is I wanted to do a flip through of February in my Hobonichi Techo Cousin Avec. Um, I got this beautiful, beautiful leather cover um, from a leather smith in the Adelaide Hills. They're called Handorf Leather Smith. I will leave their um, website link in the description below because these are stunning and they literally make everything out of leather. There's belts, jackets, hats, stubby holders, even their gift cards are leather scraps, which is really cool. Cause then like when you hand in the gift card, they can reuse it. So their gift cards are like nice and soft. But when we were just browsing through the store on my little uh, getaway with my husband, I saw this A5 journal um, cover and they can personalize it for free. So I got my name stamped in there and it is just so pretty. I'll show you. <clears throat> it is just going to soften up so beautifully. It's got the pockets, it's got a pen loop, closes and it smells so good. So there was a couple of different designs, but go check them out. They're all handmade and just the detail. Oh, I love this so much. And I've always said I would never get a cover for my journal because I do very much prefer it like this. Um, however, <laughs> this is just beautiful and I could not resist. So what I actually think is we might do some a bit of a catch up with some mail and bits and pieces I've been getting and then I might do my flip through in another video. So that is the first thing that I wanted to show you. The second thing is probably a bit of a catch up of what I'm doing with my journals actually. Um, I went on a getaway with my husband to the Adelaide Hills because that's where he's currently working in Adelaide. He'll be down there for about a year in total probably he's been down there since january but um i've never actually done a proper travel journal before i've always um i've always kind of just done oh, like collecting pamphlets and putting them in a display folder which i did even in 2009 when i was traveling the world by myself as a 20 year old um so what I thought I'd do this time is I've taken some inspiration from Skylar Hand and I've decided to do it in a traveler's size notebook. And um, this is actually, I haven't written in it yet, but it's actually kind of fun to just go around and collect bits and pieces. And this particular um, insert is from the 16th page. Um, Emily is currently not making paper goods anymore but I do actually have the rest of her paper goods stock in my Etsy shop which is linked below so if you do like um some of the journal packs do have a notebook in them so this is just a beautiful um different kind of textured travelers notebook and I'm going to finish that up by um journaling and finish putting in all of the ephemera bits and pieces like I haven't quite taped it all down but I will be going back to Adelaide in May um, with my four-year-old be the first time he's going on a plane 
Um, so I'm hoping that this one can kind of just be like a big, you know, what's around Adelaide and the Adelaide Hills um, in 2022 by the time I finish this, because I'll be hoping to go down again a few times since my husband will be there for the rest of the year. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, now I've also, you have seen this before, this is my junk journal, which is not really much of a junk journal because it's got all the same orange and like terracotta colored pages, but it is handmade by Mel Molly Creations. I will leave her link in the description box below. Um, and I just really loved this. I didn't find it as intimidating with just the two colored pages. I actually found this more intimidating because there's certain pages in here like this is so thin and you can see through it um, like here. So I've actually found that more intimidating. So I actually reached out to Mel. Um, I sent her a whole pile of fabric scraps that I had found, but I kept two pieces for myself um, purely so that if I did enjoy this, I could reach out to her and make ask her to make me some more journals. So she made me two journals. Um, I sent her two bits of fabric, this beautiful one that um, my mum made a skirt for me in this fabric when I was like seven and it was my all time favorite skirt. Um, and then this um, fabric one as well. They are two different sizes. I kind of just let Mel um, have creative reign. So there are some differences with these. Um, this is the same size as my original one that she made um but she has put in like these little tie fasteners which is really fun um she'd not done that in the previous one this one is just all orange paper so it's got two signatures in there and um she also found these little corners which i really really like so um <clears throat> that's that one i have just put some washi just like on the sides to um help stick down the paper that she had there she's got a little sticker there and then i've also used some of the bits and pieces that she wrapped it in because she sent it to me packaged so beautifully so first of all um i went to kmart and i just bought a couple of like tassels and seashells and i've just used this string that um, came in another package, but I just really liked it. And um, I'm not really big on like things hanging off, but I did put this one on there, which is actually on the front because there was just a piece of string like left over. And I actually really enjoy that, um, as silly as that is, because it is on the front and not on the side. So I thought that I would personalize it a bit more myself and do that. And this one Mel actually made, so this one's just got the brown paper. And this one she actually made out of a old letter writing folder, which is why it's a different size. So same thing, she had these beautiful ribbons and string. So I've actually just cut a bit of that off and I've just tied it to the front there. And then this one, um, because of the way she's only got one signature in this one. So what I actually did was I took the string that she wrapped it up with and I've tied it around the string on the inside there and I've made like a, a double bookmark um oh, sorry I'm holding it up too close but I've made like a double bookmark there so I can actually just pop it in different places and I really really like that so this one is slightly different same thing she sewed it she's got the closer here she's got the corners and then on the back, I've just put like the little note that came with them. And then this is the, she like put this beautiful wax seal um, with these um, eucalyptus leaves and gum nuts from her garden. And I just really loved that. So I've put it in a um, plastic bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape it to the front here so that I can keep it because that's how the journals came and I just thought that was a really nice way to remember how they came so I've not finished my original junk journal yet I will do a flip through of that when I'm finished um, but I'm very excited to have the choice for the next ones so 
if you're after any journals um, or handmade junk journals Mel does absolutely beautiful jobs she doesn't just do this kind she also does like little golden book ones with rings um, so go check out her Etsy she has lots of beautiful handmade goodies as well as uh, vintage ephemera so go check her out so that's kind of my update on those two journals the next thing is I'm finally finally getting around to doing my media journal or book reading journal movie watching journal so I haven't finished setting this up yet but I'm gonna call it a media journal and I'm just gonna put down what movies I want to watch what books I want to read and I've also started a bookshelf I haven't quite finished this drawing yet but I'm writing down the books that I've bought and then I'm gonna have two columns here I've decided and I'm gonna write down the books that I've bought and de-stashed because I didn't like them and then just de-stashed from my own collection I'm also thinking about um, purchasing a street library off uh, I think it's called streetlibrary.org and registering it um, thinking about putting it on my fence out the front and registering it so that I'm not just throwing them away but people in the neighborhood can come and help themselves so that's has how far I've gotten so far. I'm thinking about doing um, like a reading habit tracker maybe. And I don't know. And then I just kind of want to get into, I don't know whether I'm going to do singular or double book page spreads. But I also want to show you this journal. This is an Archer and Olive, as you could probably tell from the front. Now, I got this as part of an Archer and Olive mystery bundle um, from Washi Gang. And I actually work at Washi Gang, but we had these beautiful mystery bundles. And I just wanted to show you which other journals I got because I've not owned Archer and Olive notebooks before. So the mystery bundles have sold out now, but you can go and sign up for the Washi Gang newsletter because we have, um, we're thinking about doing more mystery bundles in the future, not necessarily with Arch and Olive, but maybe Japanese themed. And we also have sticker book washi, um, sorry, sticker book bundles. And we sometimes do mystery boxes for Black Friday. So if that kind of thing is what you enjoy and you're either in Australia or the US or New Zealand, you can sign up to the Washi Gang uh, newsletter and you can be notified of any specials that we have. But um, this one was kind of get three notebooks for $100. So you got two um, kind of more regular and then you got a B6, which was pretty much free. Um, so I got, this was the one that I got um, for the B6 size. It's beautiful orange. It's called Solar. And then my other notebook I got is the empty box. <laughs> um, is the Forest Knight, and this is just beautiful. Like, look at that glitter. It's just stunning. So I've been wanting to start a reading journal or a media journal for so, so, so long. And I haven't done it for multiple reasons mainly because I've not been reading as much and I don't really watch many movies. I'm too tired. I've got a two-year-old and a nearly four-year-old and it's there's just a lot going on. <laughs> um, but once I, once I saw this journal, um, I had to start it straight away. This is just absolutely beautiful. And this is a limited edition from The Greater Goods. So like I said, the Mystery Arch and Olive bundles are sold out, but we have some other exciting things coming up so definitely go check out washi gang all right the next thing i got was i got some mail in my po box um from a lady named chelsea and she is in scotland i believe and this was actually christmas mail and i only received it a couple of days ago so it's taken three months to get to me so Christmas mail at Easter but I just really really wanted to show you this because it is just such beautiful mail um, so that she's just got a little note there and a lot of this stuff is handmade so she's handmade these little stamps and I won't take them all out but I'll show you a couple because they're so cute 
like some of them are stamped onto vellum and then cut out and then put on cardboard like and they're all like or a lot of them are Christmassy or like snow themed oh, these are just a little vellum one by itself and they are just so fun and then she's even put like some of them on a colored paper and then also on um, a patterned paper so they're just beautiful I can't wait to use those what a clever idea I've not actually thought about using my um, stamp shaped stamps that way before so that's really fun and then she's like kind of origami to this little glycine envelope and like decorated it so there's that and then I've also got this beautiful handmade paper with like these florally bits in there and I love when you can see the texture of the paper because the words or like some letters are still visible so I love that it then came with this little ephemera folder so in the front she's got these beautiful little bits of paper and this is all fully decorated and she's hand sewn it and then in here she's got little numbers stamped out onto I don't want to rip it but like little numbers stamped out for a whole month so you can put it in your journal so that's really fun so she said for your Christmas journal so I'll get to that in a minute because I have an idea for this and then over here she's got some more handmade like tickets on patterned paper and just really really fun and thoughtful and just really pretty and then she's got these ribbons and this washi tape So that's all beautiful and then on top of that was this little gift that was beautifully wrapped with this little tag and in it is this little handmade journal with all these different colored like types of paper and textures and vellum and some of her handmade paper in there so i'm almost thinking i might like do a December daily at the end of this year and use this and also use the ephemera she gave me so that is absolutely beautiful thank you so much Chelsea sorry I think my gardener just came oh, no sorry it's not my gardener <laughs> Um, but thank you so much, Chelsea. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed opening that up. That was such a beautiful surprise. I was not expecting that whatsoever. And I was a bit confused when it arrived because I couldn't remember <laughs> from December what we had discussed. But yes, you can definitely feel free to send me something in the mail if you wish. I have received things in the past. Um, I've received two postcards. And I've also received um, received another envelope from the US, but there's been no return address, no note, no Instagram handle, no YouTube handle. So the two postcards and the other envelope, I have no idea who they're from. So if you are going to send me something, um, please let me know. <laughs> Who sent it to me so that I can give you a shout out and thank you. So thank you so much, Chelsea. I will be treasuring that and I will be going back and um, writing back to you soon. I'm quite behind on my pen pal replies though. And the final thing I have to share with you is I bought myself a fountain pen for my birthday, which is this month in April. And I haven't got the fountain pen yet because I found a fountain pen that I like and I found it on this website paper cooker um, but then I thought oh, I'll just do some research because um, it was quite expensive and I found it on a couple of different sites between 50 and 75 dollars cheaper so 
I'm still waiting for the fountain pen to arrive from a different um, company, but um, the other websites I was looking at getting the fountain pen and inks together, the inks were sold out, but the fountain pen was so much cheaper. So I got some things from Paper Cooker anyways, and I haven't opened them yet. Um, but I just got the inks and um, I really wanted to get the sticker. I just got the ink and converter, I think, from this website. Alright, so there's the converters and it's the Ferris Wheel Press brand. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay. I'm like, like I said, I haven't got my fountain pen yet, but I'm way too excited. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is the Lady Rose Trio. And those are the colors. So what I'll do is when I get my pen, I'll do like a swatching video. So, so pretty. Look at those beautiful vials there. And then this one, there were so many color sets of these that I wanted. And the reason I wanted these was because I didn't want to commit to a whole ink bottle when I'm just getting into it. I thought that I wanted to try a couple of different colors and have some fun with it and experiment with it before I really find what I like. So this is the Moss Park collection and just look at these beauties. So that is what I got from Paper Cooker. And when I get my fountain pen, we will revisit these. But for now, they are going to live in their beautiful box. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. I know that was kind of a bit of a random catch up video. There is a lot going on here, um, but I will, get to my flip through of February and March very, very shortly. I hope that you are well, that you are staying safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.